Hey everyone, my name is Justin and in this tutorial I'm going to show you a couple photo filter tips that you can use in Photoshop. Now the first tip is instead of working directly by image adjustments and applying the photo filter onto the layer, you can get a lot more flexibility out of the tool if you go to layer, new adjustment layer, photo filter. This gives you the option to adjust the blending modes, the opacities, the fills, and also mask out certain portions of the adjustment. So the next tip I have is within the menu, you could choose between all these default colors. And I'm just gonna show you one cool trick to get kind of a magazine style red out filter or lens. So if you choose the red filter and you turn the density all the way up to 100, it'll look like this because normally preserve luminosity is checked. But if you uncheck preserve luminosity, it'll let that color take over the brightness of the image and with this particular red filter, you can get that cool red out, red lens photo effect that you've probably seen on magazines or in certain photo shoots and stuff like that. So that's a cool tip. Now another tip is instead of using the pre-made filters, you can also choose your own color by clicking on the square and picking via the color picker any color you want. So you can choose something that's grayish blue, bright blue. So that gives you all the flexibility to get exactly the color that you need if you don't find that specific filter in the preset defaults. Now that you know you can pick a custom color and create these cool dense color lenses of your image, the next tip I have is using blending modes in combination with these to create simple image filters and color effects. So let's say we have this dense blue filter applied. We can use a simple mixing blending mode like overlay or soft light to create an instant color effect that gives it a whatever type of mood or vibe we choose with the color. Now one last tip that's really useful in adjusting the power of these quick filters that you can create is using the opacity tool and adjusting it to your liking. So the opacity tool is kind of like the strength of the filter that you want. So at 50% you can see we've taken it from being too harsh and we just created a nice simple and cool color effect. And when I say cool, I mean like the temperature cool, but it's also cool. <laughs> so hopefully you guys learned a few things about the photo filter adjustment layer and some tips for all adjustment layers in general in this tutorial. If you guys did like this video and you want to see more Photoshop tutorials, definitely check out my channel and subscribe for more. And let me know what you thought in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.